Okay, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the dashboard in Plotter. And I'm here on the Files tab. That's the tab it usually defaults to when you open up Plotter. And this will let you see your recent projects. You can open them by double clicking, or you can click this button to open. You can also duplicate them, rename them, delete them, or a few other things like showing them in Finder or your File Explorer, create a desktop shortcut, or move them from the list. Um, you can also create new projects from here. You can create a, create a blank project. You can create one from template, open an existing file, or you can import from a, another software. So either Scrivener or Snowflake Pro. And when you do that, it'll just ask you where on your computer that file lives, and it'll open it up and then add it to this list here. If you open an existing file, maybe you downloaded a demo from a website or a template file from somebody, you can search on your computer for where that's found and find it here. And when you click open, it'll add it to this list and then also open it in a new, winning, in a new window. If you create from template, when you click there, it'll show you a list of all our templates, all the plot templates. And so you can create a new project with one of those. You can look at what is in the template. You can also find what you're looking for a lot easier here by choosing the category. So maybe you want romance, and it'll just show you these. And then you can create a new project when you click that. Or of course, you could just create a blank project. So that's the Files tab. The next one is the Account tab. And this will show you information about your account, of course, and about Plotter itself. So, so it'll show you, for example, what email you purchased with um, and whether or not you're in Plotter Pro or just Plotter. It'll show you what version you're on. You can check for updates, see what we've been doing to change it, to improve it. And uh, of course, you can see our awesome team here. The Backup tab is pretty self-explanatory. It shows you the backups you've got. But let me show you one here. Um, you can see how many backups or how many projects are backed up for that day over here. So I found one that had multiple. So uh, you'll see that there is a start session for most of them, or for all of them, and there's an end session for some of them. So the way that Plotter saves backups is when you open it for the first time that day, it creates a backup immediately. And then as you're working on it, it'll create a backup the last time that you you save it. And so then you have two backups per day from the, when you first started that day and when you ended that day. Um, so if you made a mistake during that day or something, you can go back to how you started that day and it'd be fine. So to do that, you just click this Open Backup button and it just creates a, a new project, opens it for you. So as you can see, um, this was this is the name of the project here, just a sample one I was doing, um, and then the the na the backup of March 11th. So when I go back here, there'll now be a new backup for today, and in my files, there's a new backup here, backup March 11th. So that's a new new file, new project that was created, that is from the backup of March 11th. So. Makes it pretty handy and pretty easy to restore a backup in case you ever need that. So the next tab is the Settings tab. And I'm not going to go through all of these here, but there are ones for uh, downloading automatically, new updates, um, your appearance, dark versus light. Um, I have it set to si system here. There's ones for where you store your files, what fonts you use throughout Plotter. There's settings for how you use the dashboard and for when you save backups and how many backups you store and keep. So the settings is really valuable. And then lastly here we've got the help tab and there's a bunch of links up here for important things like you can find our Facebook group, uh, the documentation, download any demos and so forth. If you need any help, you can contact support here. This will actually open in your browser. You can also create an error report. Support might ask you for this sometimes um, in order to figure out what's going wrong. And you just click this here. It'll create a file for you, and you can send that in your response email. 
You can also give us feedback and you can search our documentation right from Plotter itself. So if, we, if you wanted to learn more about the timeline, I could search in here and then here's some articles about the timeline and there's even some videos in there. So you can look at our documentation right from within Plotter. So that's the dashboard.